The main challenges we're trying to solve are challenges around global scale, uh, around really building cloud service uh, infrastructures. For example, a customer of ours uh, now has over 10 billion objects in a single system. So we're really trying to tackle uh, big data type issues with a cloud architecture. One of the biggest problems with scaling up a, a Hadoop cluster uh, from 10 to 100 to 1,000 nodes is a lot of people uh, will read the documentation, they'll understand how it works, and they'll deploy a single rack of servers. And that's great, and that'll work really well. And then you have two racks of servers, and three, and then four. And what you don't think about is the amount of traffic that travels between those, two, those racks. And that throughput between racks is as important for the performance of your cluster as your ability to get a single MapReduce job to work efficiently. And if you can't move data between racks, quickly, you're not going to fully get the value out of what your cluster can do. Particularly as their clusters get larger, you start to look for management tools and monitoring tools that will really help optimize what's going out there in the infrastructure. To say, gee, can we be running faster? Can we be running with, for example, less electricity, less cooling, simply because we've got faster interconnections, we've got faster hard disks, faster servers, whatever it happens to be. All those things we now see starting to come into play as our customers get more and more experience with Hadoop Analytics. As we work with millions of users who are using our service every day, we're collecting tremendous amount of data that is hard to organize and collect and manage. And uh, we choose Arista because Arista gives us the performance that we need to run uh, things like our Hadoop cluster, for instance, where being able to have one gigabit line rate from any machine to any machine is really um, crucial for good performance. We work with a variety of partners such as Cloudera and Arista and others to basically make sure that the back-end infrastructure that our analytic application that is data mirror analytic solution is running on is stable, is fast, it's easily managed and particularly as we see the growth of data and the growth of number of people actually wanting to access those analytics, things like faster interconnects really becomes more and more important. When you're dealing with this kind of scale, uh, there's no time uh, to do this type of uh, uh, tweaking and you know, very, very traditional types of management uh, on the infrastructure. Uh, what's interesting about Arista's technology, again, I think it's very uh, complementary in a zero-touch uh, provisioning approach uh, and then a, a land management uh, type of approach where, again, you're typically dealing with a very, very large environment, you're typically dealing with a very, very high-scale environment, um, and you're trying to simplify uh, for a new type of worker, you're trying to simplify the management of the infrastructure. One of the great things that we really like about the Arista gear is that it runs Linux inside and everyone in our very small team is familiar with Linux and it made, uh, gave us an environment that was very uh, comfortable to work with. Um, the CLI was also very familiar, so the ramp-up period was very small. It was very easy for us to get up to speed with the gear and start using it. The concepts of zero-touch provisioning and latency analysis are critical for managing a cluster because, uh, for example, if you are going to be able to deploy a thousand servers without hiring a thousand people, you need a system that can help you bring those online quickly. Likewise, with latency, one of the, the first things you'll realize when you have an infrastructure that involves multiple racks or dozens of racks is that analyzing problems that arise between inner rack throughput are critical. You'll see spikes between certain rack combinations and you have to be able to figure out why that's happening. And so if you can't get to the core of that problem quickly, uh, you might have no idea what's going on. And what you can't do is keep investing in network and handling these spikes. You have to identify the problem and understand how to fix that to balance out your cluster effectively. And without tools like zero touch provisioning or latency analysis, you're really going to be flying in the dark because you'll be spending so much time manually setting up servers, you won't have any time to investigate your problems. Uh, one of the challenges that the web companies like us are facing is the growth of the data and the rate at which it's growing. And while it's easy to scale the new solutions like Hadoop, for instance, having a network stack that is equally scalable was a key theme for us. And I think Arista is 
providing us a platform that is just as scalable because it's very easy for us to add new switches and plug them into our full line rate our infrastructure without having any performance penalty anywhere. One of our um, main limiting factors in our data center is the space and the power that is available to us. And one of the great things about Arista is how efficient it is. So it's uh, most of, our, of the switches that we have, there are very little one U form factor, very convenient to uh, put in our racks. And the power efficiency of those switches is just unbelievable. Uh, there is no match for that. So we use Arista as a core of our backbone between our racks. So all of our, our racks are hooked up through an Arista-powered uh, trunk system. So all of our traffic flowing between each of our racks is fueled by Arista. And that was important for us for a few reasons. We need to have a solution that supports enormously high bandwidths, so 10 gigabit and higher uh, throughput on the backplane. It's important for us to have a solution that will scale with us. When you move from 5, 10, 100 racks, you need a solution that will scale up with that. We can't keep reinventing the wheel every time we hit another inflection point in growth. And finally, power is a, a critical question. Um, we need to make sure that uh, with current data center power constraints and being able to find co-location facilities with various power allocations, you have a solution that won't be greedy, that will be in a low power world. You don't have to trade off, can I have five more nodes or another switch? You want to be in a world where your switch and your network topology and your server topology are all meshed together and you're not having to make those kinds of trade-offs and, and Rista does that for us today.